Knockout, yeah, but okay, hang on a second. Knockouts doesn't disfigure you, you know what I mean? Like, like in a flash it, it knockout like Koshak had, or maybe even just like a couple seconds, that's not going to disfigure you. You know, I'm sure... And look, Joe Dirksen last week, good example, he, uh, he had a concussion in, in his fight, and he ended up winning. You know, all I can say is... Give the guy I a chance. Like, when I'm, if I'm standing in a ring and there's a difference of maybe a five thousand dollar win bonus, and it's going to change my career, and it's going to make a difference, you know, to my next fight and the next five fights, I'll want to fight through brain trauma too. No, no, no. But, but yeah. somebody's got to make sure that I don't do right, that. Right. But wouldn't you at least like an opportunity to defend yourself? Because it's, because Josh never got that. Yeah. Well, the ref one, jumped on top. One more hammer fist. Could be the thing that kills a guy, and um, you know what? Well, that's People not going to kill a guy. A hammer fist isn't going to kill a guy. You know what? A hammer fist Come to a brain damaged guy is a brutal thing. And one thing that, and this, I, this to me, I think is one of the keys. One thing that everybody who people brag about MMA's uh, history of, all, you know almost no deaths and, and so few injuries and people brag about the safety of the sport as compared to even something like boxing and it's because of this kind of uh, protection from the referee that that happens if we let guys go guys will go to their death yeah but I'm not talking about letting it go until the guy dies I'm talking about a couple extra seconds just so he can defend himself then if he doesn't defend himself and we've seen it lots of times where fights go a little bit longer and either the guy defends himself or not and we've seen fighters come back from getting what looks like they were being knocked out, and then they recover, they grab on. The sure. other guy's not a great finisher, which who knows if, if Paulo Tiago's a good f uh, finisher, because we didn't get the chance yeah. to see that. Well, and we, we do know that Koscheck's a, a, a good fighter. We've and, also seen and Koscheck guys, was, you know, he was favored, minus 420. Like, I mean, this guy. We've also seen guys lying there and get one, two, three overhand rights to the face and be shaking in, in seizure or in serious trauma. Right, I'm not, and, I mean, right. I'm not, not saying, I'm not saying let it go until the guy's like in oblivion and they just sort of stand there and watch the bloodbath. You know what I mean? I'm just saying give the guy a chance to defend himself. I'm saying don't shut it down too early. That's okay. all I'm saying because this is, this is somebody's livelihood. It, it's your livelihood. And it's, you know, at that level, it's costing a lot of money and it's costing somebody a huge, you know, redirect in their career. I just would, I mean, I know that the pendulum swings hard either way. And if you go too far this way, if you go too far the other way, it could cost the guy's life. Yeah, I'm not saying go too far. I'm just saying find a happy medium. And you know what? Uh, you could argue that we're probably at that happy medium, and, and one but it's not consistent. It's not consistent. It's better than one really late stoppage. No, I can appreciate yeah. that, but there is no happy medium. Sometimes you see things go a little too far. Sometimes you think, see things get stopped early. I'm just saying, don't stop it too early. Can I hammer fist you? Yeah, absolutely. But let's wait till <laughs> after. Um, and then the last thing that I think sounds we should... gay. Yeah, yeah. And then exactly. just, no, Actually, there's it's... anything wrong with that. Right. I'm sure your girlfriend totally appreciates you uh, yeah. coming on to me on the show. Yeah. Um, uh, we should uh, very quickly show this YouTube video of um, it's Fedor, and uh, he won the uh, the Russian uh, Sambo uh, right. uh, championships. Right. It's a very quick video. Now, it's only it's on very, the, it's on YouTube. It's all in Russian. So very quickly, it, very yeah. quickly, Fedor came second in the World Championships only in November. So, I mean, he, w he won now. It's great to see him bounce back, but he came second. Dude, what are you saying? You're, you're saying he's not very good? Look at his I, record. I honestly okay, watch this I don't video. buy into the whole Fedor good. myth. I don't. <laughs> Whatever. I don't. Watch the video and let's see, what it, uh, see how well he, he does. Okay, here he is entering the ring. He kind of looks like yeah, you know. F Fader obviously uh, knows what he's doing. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you, I, and I know I can't be the only guy thinking this when they watch that. That doesn't even look real. Like, yeah, it doesn't look real because he's so awesome. It's the finals. So the guy he's fighting supposedly knows what he's doing. He didn't try to turn into him. He didn't try to resist it. He's he a little, he's a little anything. afraid. That's all he is. He's a Dude, little that afraid. was a work. Like, that's not, that didn't even look like a real fight. There's something going on there. I, no, mean, it's, I think it's just because he was disproportionately better than the other guy. At... They just were going to give it to Fedor. His, his it's like final, somebody told that no, guy no, his you won't get any more pellets. You Fedor's any more final pellets. three fights in that tournament were total under a minute of actual fight time. Yeah. 
And so which tells you how much better he is than everybody else, or how much everybody sucks in Russian Sambo. The, you, but I, I think when it's, you've got I Russian guys coming one. to you saying we're going to eat your family if you don't give it to Fedor. I mean, you will your whole ration. You, you, of, like, and like, you and you think you think that's what happened? Yeah. I do think that's what happened. Yeah, okay. Look at that. Look at that tape. This is the, uh, the Sambo championships, and that guy didn't even respond. You know what it is? You're, you're just drunk on Grosh. That's Dude, what it is. It's one Your, your decision-making and, and ability yeah, to be able no. to see things for what they really are have, have um, really gone downhill in the last no few minutes. There is no question that that wasn't real, that that guy gave it to Fedor. It's like the guy kind of stood there, and then they locked up, and then he threw him down, and then he went for an, a Kimura with no resistance. Okay, how about this? Just real quickly. Fedor wins the last affliction fight okay and he fought yeah. andre arlovsky yeah. which andre arlovsky was doing pretty awesome yeah, he looked like he was doing yeah, great i watched it back a few times and fedor was so calm and so relaxed when he was getting he, and he took some hits but he literally got kicked and he just you know very calmly went back into the ring that kind of ability to be able to stay that calm during a fight against a guy of Andre Olovsky's caliber, caliber who's he's fantastic yeah, and, it is and he's like real good oh yeah i mean he was he was doing so well and then Arlovsky makes one mistake by changing his, his plan just a little bit, throws a flying knee, and, uh, and Fedor throws one right hand and completely knocks him out. Yeah. So you're, you're talking myth? Yeah. Tim Sylvia completely annihilated Sylvia. If any, uh, he did. He annihilated Sylvia and he landed the, the giant right hand on, um, on Arlovsky. And, and, he's, and, 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 he's, that, and that's mean, not luck. That is not luck, him, no, him and landing that, that punch. And, uh, he's just such, he's is, such a skilled fighter. It's, uh, and I... If anyone was watching this show, we'd be getting emails like that little idiot with the blue hair. You know, he's he's talking crap about Fedor. But the thing is, you build up this myth, right? You build up this big myth of this unbeatable, you know, Russian machine. And I just, I, I don't buy into it. I think somebody will come along and give a, a Fedor a beating, and he just won't pull out that one big shot. It'll happen sooner than later. I don't think it'll be uh, uh, Josh Barnett, but it'll happen sooner than later. Well. Um, because He's, it's going to have to happen pretty soon because these guys are getting older. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? I, I don't see it happening anytime soon. And because Fedor doesn't fight very often, the myth yeah. grows and the, the myth, myth continues. And, and it does. And I, and think, I, think, it's, I think it's I think, a great myth for MMA. I think it's I, exciting. I think, I think Barnett is a great opponent. But uh, yeah. you know what? I mean, you know, good luck to him because uh, he's going to be – Fedor is just you know going to be that tough. Uh, and, we could get Josh Barnett. On the phone. Okay, the well, let's, let's, get Josh, let's get Josh Barnett I don't know if we get him next week, but we'll get him within the next couple of weeks. Okay, and let's have a conversation with him about okay. what he's going to do okay, let's to, do to come up against Fedor. I'm going to write that down. Uh, incidentally, uh, coming up in our future, we, we did just tape an interview today with Mark uh, Hominick. Right, yeah. So and, we'll run and that next week. Maybe we'll run that next week. We've got quite a few minutes of, uh, of uh, footage of our interview with him, which uh, we were in our mobile studio because yeah. uh, we were shooting it inside my car. Yes, so that's the kind a, of high technology we got here. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. we pull out all the stops because we were taking him to another interview. Right, <laughs> a bigger interview with yeah. Mauro Ranallo, who were, is going to come on the show right, also. Yeah, we'll get Mauro yeah. Ranallo in, and, yeah. uh, and he'll tell Josh you how Barnett, full of shit you Josh Barnett, he's uh, working on that for tomorrow morning. We'll okay. get on that. All right, we'll get yeah. on it, and let's I see will. if we can get him in real soon. Cool. Okay, we've run out of time. So uh, really? thanks so much. Yeah, yeah. It's like absolutely. ten after ten. Can we? Well, like the internet doesn't shut you down at any time. No, but I no, think I we know, should let these people go. We've overstayed our welcome yeah, here I at think the station. Right. So uh, yeah. hey, thanks very much for tuning in. And uh, next week, I have no idea who we're going to have on, but maybe Josh Burnett. Maybe we'll work on Josh Burnett. We'll work on Josh yeah. Burnett and try and get him in. Yeah. We'll also work on trying to get a couple uh, uh, sponsors for the show because who knows? Yeah. Maybe a sponsored show means we'll actually have uh, better skills. One free beer no, a week is not going to cut it. Yeah, and a absolutely. tap out sweater. I mean, where am I going from here? Yeah, right? exactly. Maybe yeah. you could call them and ask them for some money. Yeah. And then we could we could really get See, a show going. I, the thing is, they want to sponsor me. They just don't want to sponsor you or the show. <laughs> Like, no offense. You know what? <laughs> let, let me have their number and let me okay. make that call. And okay. we'll see what they say yeah, we'll when, see what they when say. I have the conversation okay. with them. Okay? okay. You're just holding back. You're just trying to save all the tap out <laughs> wear for yourself. Well, you know, I had a hat last week. I got a, a sweater this week. One free beer. I mean, that's worth something. Right. Yeah, but the station provided that. Right. Right. We could pretend that Grolsch actually gave it to us, but really it was like the producer. <laughs> we have a producer. Yes. This is crazy. Yeah, I know. That's, wow. actually, that's the most shocking thing about the show. All right. So anyway, to wrap up, thanks so much for uh, watching No Shit MMA. This has been yeah. episode two, yeah, and which it, has been substantially, not even probably a little, like three to five percent better than last week's for show. For sure. And we're hoping that we can increase the, uh, the, you know, the overall... The, yeah, a little performance bit of, of the show a little and, bit again. and our professionalism just ever so slightly every if we week. get Josh Barnett I think it'll even like be even better than Joe Dirksen and Mark Powers <laughs> that'll be good that's um, gonna make Joe and, and Mark feel fantastic yes. but